And finally, for today's program, let's turn to Ashley Chisholm for a look at Adventist history. This week, a Korean publishing house receives a revolutionary tool to advance its production. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On September 11th, 1963, a new Heidelberg Cylinder Press was dedicated at the Signs of the Times Publishing House, known since 1966 as the Korean Publishing House in Seoul, Korea. The new machine-fed press replaced two older hand-fed presses, which could no longer keep up with increasing production demands. C.H. Davis, then president of the Korean Union Mission, pointed out at the press's dedication that the Korean press had printed 48 million pages in the year of 1962 alone, which was almost the same amount of pages that the Review and Herald Publishing House had done in its first 10 years, from 1854 to 1864. The new Korean press allowed them to print 400% faster. The Korean publishing house still operates today. On September 15, 1874, John Nevins Andrews and his children Charles and Mary sailed on the Atlas, a Cunard steamship from Boston, Massachusetts for Liverpool, England, en route to Switzerland to organize converts and conduct personal evangelism. The day before they embarked, Andrews wrote to the review stating, As we set forth, we commit ourselves to the merciful protection of God and we especially ask the prayers of the people of God that His blessing may attend us in this sacred work. In 2014, 140 years after the Andrews family left their home for the mission field as the church's first official missionaries, the Seventh-day Adventist Church had 5,816 missionaries across the globe. You can find that data in the church's annual statistical report, which is available at AdventistStatistics.org. Today, the church's missionaries still need the prayers of the people of God as much as the Andrews family did in 1874. And that was this week in Adventist history.